Hey there, it's Victor Amadi here with Producer Realty. In this August 2021 Greater Greenville, South Carolina real estate market update, we're going to discuss some of the changes happening in our local real estate market. Hey, I hope all is well with you. In this video, we're going to discuss a few leading indicators that could be an indication that our local real estate market is starting to shift. The first is the closed sales. July 2021 market statistics show that 1,560 homes sold last month. Not only is this number 3% less than the 1,609 homes that sold in July of 2020, it is also 203 homes less than the 1,763 homes that sold in June of 2021. I know we had just come out of quarantine in July of last year. However, the 1,609 homes that sold in July of last year was almost 22% higher than the 1,321 homes that sold in July of 2019. Next is the month supply of inventory. Month supply of inventory was 1.9 months in May of 2021, two months in June of 2021, 2.2 months in July of 2021. This means that buyers have more homes to choose from when it comes to shopping for homes. When you look at that in terms of the available inventory of homes for sale, at the end of July, there were 3,030 homes available for sale. Although this was 3.9% less than the 3,153 homes that were available at the end of July of 2020. However, July inventory was 262 homes more than the 2,768 homes that were available at the end of June of last year. Median sales price was $265,000 in July of 2021 but was $267,500 in June of 2021. And the average sales price was $315,904 in July of 2021, but was $324,974 in June of 2021. Even though we still have properties that are getting multiple offers, these are leading indicators that the market is slowly starting to adjust. If you are thinking about selling your home, this may be a great time to get it done before the market cools down. Contact me and my team here at Producer Realty if we can help you. Thank you so much for watching this market update. Have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.